Today we are making a chores template from scratch. So first thing you're going to do is forward slash data and we are going to click on table view. So not the others, click on table view. Now here what we're going to do is just create a new database. Now I'm actually going to call this task list. Now the biggest mistake that people make is thinking that they need a separate to-do list for their chores. Now what happens is a lot of people have a task list for their chores, a task list for their work, a task list for their personal, a task list for their uh, habits, their daily stuff, all of this. Having everything in separate databases makes it a lot more confusing. So what we're going to do here is click on layout and we're going to change it from a table view to a calendar view. So we'll click on calendar. Now I'm going to click on cross here. We're going to go up to these three dots and click on full width. So on this page here, we have the calendar, which is our task list. But what we're going to do is create a separate page where we're only seeing our chores. But on this page here, we're going to see all of our tasks. That way you don't have to check 19 different calendars and to-do lists in the morning. You can just check the one. So let's add a hypothetical task in here clean fridge. Now I'm going to delete this tags here. Just delete that property. And let's add another fake task, wash car. Okay. So what I'm going to do is scroll down here and do forward slash, and we're going to write gallery. So this gallery is going to be our projects database. And I'll show you why this is important. So let's click on new database here. And we will call this projects list or projects database or just projects, whatever you want. And I'm just going to delete these automatic ones and let's create a new one here and let's call this chores. Give it an emoji, there we go. And if you want, you can give this a background as well. So to do that, we'll click here and click on add cover, change cover and uh, automatically you can see a random one gets generated. So we're going to click on unsplash and just search for chores. Now, as you can see, the image doesn't come up here. So to change that, we're going to click on these three dots here. And what we want to do is change the setting. So we're not seeing what's written in here. So if I just write blah, blah, you can see here, it's showing blah, blah. It's showing me what's inside of this page. What we want to do is change the setting. So we're seeing this cover here. So we'll click on the three dots, click on layout. And here you can see card preview. So we're going to change it from page content. So it's showing me the page content. We're going to change it to page cover. And now you can see it is showing up. So let's say you have a bunch of different projects in here and you want these to look either smaller or larger. We can do that here by changing the card size from medium to small. So here we can see the task list as a month view. We're seeing the whole month, but let's say we just want to see the week. So let's right click on calendar and rename this to month and then right click on this and do duplicate. And we will call this week. Now what we'll do here is click on layout and change it from see the calendar as month to as the week. Now we are viewing our task list as the week view. Bear in mind, this is the same database as this. So if I make any change here, if I add do dishes, click away up on week, you can see now do dishes has been added. But if we make changes to the view of this week, so let's say, let's change this to properties and show date, just as an example, you can see here that that property, the date is showing up here but it is not showing up here. So by working in views, we're able to change different settings by only seeing some stuff and filtering stuff and sorting stuff only by this tab. It's a really, really useful way to work. And it's actually how we're going to build this chores page here. So now two main things are missing from this. How do we know when the task is complete? And what project does this belong to? Because you'll probably have other projects in here other than chores. So what we'll do here is click on any of these tasks, or if you don't have a task, just click on new task. And here you can see add property. So we're going to add two properties. The first one is just going to be a checkbox. So we'll click on that and we will just call this space bar. We'll just do literally a space here. By not having text here, it's just going to make it look a lot cleaner on this page. Otherwise you're going to see the word done or complete a million times in here. And that's just going to get a bit overwhelming. And now the other property we're going to add is a relation. Now, if you haven't used this before, it can be a bit overwhelming, but basically all we're doing with the relation property is saying, I want this database to talk to another database. So right now in the task list, so we're adding a property here to the task list database. We want that to talk to the projects database. So we're going to click on new relation. And if it's not coming up here in your most recent, you can just search for it, but it's coming up here for me. So I'll click on that. And then we do not want to show on projects list. I'm going to show you a better way to do it. So click on add relation. Now that this has been made, I can click here and chores you can see shows up. So I can click on that. 
we're going to change this view now to show the checkbox and the related project. That way I don't have to click in to find that information. So we're going to click on the three dots, click on properties, and then here we're going to change that this checkbox, we wanna click that eyeball to say, I want that to show up, and then do the same thing for the projects list here, click on that. So now we can see clean fridge, checkbox, and chores. Let's say you want the chores to appear above the checkbox. We can do that very easily by clicking on the three dots, clicking on properties, and then here we can just click on these six dots here and just drag that up like this. And as you can see, it has reshuffled this order. So now we can see wash car, that doesn't have a project, click on chores, do dishes, doesn't have a project, click on chores as well. So this is now our actual chores page. This is where we're going to start adding all of the chores and I'll show you how to do that. This is actually going to just be our task management system, our task and calendar system. So I'll just call this tasks or something like that and change this icon to let's do a check mark. So this page, this database here is now showing all of our tasks whether that's a chore, whether that's a journal, whether that's a work task, it's a personal life task, it's a dropping the kids off at the school, whatever it is, we're going to be adding everything into this database. It's going to save you so much time and energy because you don't have to click, oh, I need to open up the habits task list and then I need to open the daily task list and then the chores task list. You're adding a lot of cognitive overwhelm by doing that because your brain doesn't feel relaxed thinking, oh, I might have missed something. But if everything is in the same database, then you don't have to worry. But that being said, on this chores page, we only want to see stuff relating to chores. So what I'll do here is just add a fake task. I will call it fake task. And this project, let's call this work. So I will add work here. And work now, as you can see, has been added here. So we have chores and work. Or you can add something in here. So let's say side hustle. And then if I create a new task, let's say update website, you can now see in the projects list, work and side hustle are showing up. So I can click on side hustle and it's all connected. So it's a really useful way to work. What we can do in this projects list is filter these pages. So we're only seeing stuff related to chores on this page. We're only seeing stuff related to work on this page and only stuff relating to side hustle on this page. It's a really efficient way to work because when we're in the headspace of, okay, time to do chores, we don't have to click here and see everything that's on our task list. We can click on this page and only see the relevant stuff. Now, because we're efficient, we're not going to create it individually on this page and then create it individually on this page. What we're going to do is create a template and then have it automatically assign everything in here. Again, it's gonna save us a lot of time and anytime you create a new project, it's going to automatically do all of the settings for us. So let's click on the down arrow here and click on new template. Then let's do this full width. So I'll just call this new project and we can add an icon here. I'll just do a circle. And here we're going to do forward slash data and click on table view. This time we are not going to create a new database. We are going to show an existing one. So we are going to show the task list or whatever you decided to call that task database. Again, if it's not showing up in your recents, you just search for it here. So I'm going to click on task list and I will just copy the existing month view. Now up here, I'm going to click on the three dots and click on full width. So now every new project by default will be full width. So on this page, we'll do a few different settings. As you can see, we are now seeing every single task in here, which we don't want. We want to filter it by only whatever this project is about. So to do that, we can click on filter, click on add advanced filter. And here we're just going to set a simple rule where the project list contains and then whatever you call this project. So I called it new project. You do not want to click on chores or work or side hustle because this will be a default setting. So it's actually going to automatically do all of this for us. It's going to save you a lot of time down the road and then we will click away. Now what we want to do is see this in the month view. We want to duplicate and see this in the week view and change the layout from month to week. And then another view that we want to see is right click and duplicate and change this from a calendar to a table in case we ever want to see a list of all of the tasks. I'm then going to drag this date column to the side here. I think that makes most sense. Maybe make this checkbox a little smaller, drag that there. And I'm even going to hide this projects column because every project will be related to whatever this is. So I'm going to right click and do hide in view. Bear in mind, we are hiding in view. So this view is hiding it so we can't see it here. You do not want to delete the property because then that property is gone from the database. We just want to hide it in this view. 
So I'm going to rename this from week to list. And because we worked on this view here and edited the filter first and then duplicated it, these different tabs also actually have the filter. So we only have to do that filter once. So now let's go back and we'll scroll down to our chores, click on that. And here we will now just select new project. I'll open this up full width. And now on filter here, you can see it automatically changes it to project list contains chores. So we are only seeing stuff that is related to the chores. So if I go back here, you can see the fake task and update website is not showing up on here and it won't show up on the week view and it will not show up on the list view either. So this is a really efficient way to work and it's the same for work. If we click on new project, this updates to work and in here you can see we're only seeing stuff related to work. Now the last question is what if I have something that I do on a monthly or weekly basis or even daily and we just want that automatically to come up? Well, we can easily do that. We're going to click on this down arrow here. Now bear in mind, we're clicking on the down arrow on the task list, not on the projects list. So click on the down arrow and click on new template. Now this will be whatever the task is. So let's say gutter cleaning. We will add to the project list here, chores. So automatically it assigns for gutter cleaning the chores. We can add an icon. I'm just going to do a circle. And that's all we need to do here. If you want, you can add instructions or any details in this bit here. And then those details will be automatically generated every time this task is created. But let's say you don't need instructions for gutter cleaning, we'll click away. And then we'll click on the down arrow again. And then we'll click on the three dots next to gutter cleaning. And here you can see repeat. So we can change this to every day, every week, every month, every year. So if you do gutter cleaning every month, you can click on that and have it automatically get generated. So you don't have to remember to add it to your list. It automatically gets added. Now, the last thing we're going to do on this projects list is click here and you can see that these got created here automatically, the created time and the tags. So we can actually just delete these properties because we're not actually working with them. And now we've created a really seamless system for not only chores, but for your tasks. If you want to see a really powerful all-in-one Notion system, then click on this video here. It's for my headquarters template. It is your all-in-one dashboard for tasks, projects, notes, life buckets, resources, journaling, everything you can need in the one simple dashboard. Thank you again for watching this video and I hope it helped.